What's going on Capricorns? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and let me know where you're watching from. Shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. Capricorns, if you were in the last reading, buckle up. We got the lovers again coming out, this time in the reverse in this Eight of Pentacles. What is this not having a choice to work on something by yourself? Or not only that, Capricorns, with this lovers and this eight of pentacles here. Ooh. Not having, I feel like there's an, an opportunity or a choice being taken from you on you having to present something. Or really having to put yourself out there about something that you've been working on. Capricorns that are artists, painters, drawers, poets, musicians. Tap in. Those of you that have been working on, you know, a business, apparel, putting out a product, a project. This is ready or not, here this opportunity comes. Or needing to be prepared even when you're unprepared. This is being ready, Capricorns. So you don't have to get ready. Because this opportunity is going to, and really with, you see this lovers here, this opportunity is going to sneak up on you. Why do I get some of you being at the right place at the right time and you just being put on the, okay, my snapping fingers, just being put on the spot. The Knight of Cups, we got water, air, earth, water, Queen of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy. Okay, more earth. The Sun, Sagittarius, Leo, Sag Cuspers, tap in. Page of Wands, more fire. Okay. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. A little Earth. And the Tower. Dun, dun, dun. Aries, Scorpio, and a message. Let's talk about putting on a show. Being ready to, being ready to perform. Staying ready so you don't have to get ready. Some of you being at the right place at the right time. When you move to this place, moving to this job, being in the lobby of a certain hotel and rubbing elbows with the right people. But this is speaking on something, presenting what it is that you have going on, your business, your art, your craft. This two of cups and building relationships, a serious relationship coming from it. Some of you romantic, others of you a major major business move. Shout out to the Capricorns that are about their money, tapping in. And speaking of dressing to impress, get to rest, Capricorn. Brush your teeth. Put some nice clothes on. Not the Fashion Nova that makes noises between the legs. No. Wearing nice things. Pulling out your quality threads. But this is also being very emotionally mature about something. Some of you are getting ready to be put on the spot and it may not be about your craft, but maybe it's about embarrassing somebody. This is taking the emotional high road. I, I know that I did a uh, reading about that earlier this week as well for Taurus or Capricorn. But this is not just being put on the spot, but presenting your best, being ready. So not just mentally, physically, but outwardly being ready. And shout out to the people in sales, the salesmen, the car sales, real estate, insurance, whatever it is, tap in. The color blue being very significant. Shout out to the Capricorn men, the men in my comment section, the men that like to fish, be on the water, or stay on the water, I should say. Women as well, but looking your best, presenting your best. Taking the emotional high road for some of you. Handling a situation, I feel like with poison grace. The way that you carried yourself in this situation is everything. Because we see people watching here, the Knight of Cups, watching. 
So being careful with your words, choosing your words very carefully, but also a smooth talker coming towards you. Again, that Knight of Cups bringing forth an opportunity. This Queen of Pentacles as well. So a traditional Queen of Pentacles kind of just holding it on her lap. Baby girl's got it right in front of you. Hand out, take it from me or give it to me. Just snatched it. Secure in the bag. Staying focused. Remaining, you know, grounded, unmoved. Opportunities being given to you. Solid and stable ones. Emotional. So love opportunities, work, the sun. An opportunity to present yourself exposing you that eight of pentacles right we see this woman here not to undress because you two will age restrict me in a heartbeat but this putting you on blast exposing you putting you on the spot i almost feel like even if it was done in malice really put you really put you on is putting some of you on the map Broop was exactly what it is that you needed or was the push that you needed. We also see this person here with this page of wands looking back. Ooh, maybe somebody jumped too quickly. So not just new people having an eye on you or, you know, hearing this, getting a look, but also people from the past that moved too quickly. Spinning the block. Wanted to see what's going on. This five of pentacles. The plot twist. And I really get with this five of pentacles, while it speaks to a, a betrayal, really having to just pick up and leave and move on. Some of you, this, this new opportunity putting you on the spot is going to require you to travel or completely, cha or completely changing the way that you do things. Taking you out of your comfort zone with this five of pentacles first. What else about this five of pentacles in this page of wands? Feeling like a fish out of water. Doing something new. The Knight of Wands. It has to do with a fast change in direction. Ooh, what is this directional change? Shout out to the Capricorns buying new vehicles. I feel like that's a thing this season. This Knight of Pentacles as well. The Knight's showing up. Captain Morgan with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Wands here. The Dukes of Hazard, And this Knight of Pentacles. Given, you know, a little bit of the, I feel like the Pink Panther. Shout out to the Capricorns that love cars. Luxury cars, foreign cars, sports cars, the car lovers. Or the people that went to the Detroit Grand Prix this weekend. A quick change in direction money, opportunities with these with this Knight of Pentacles. And not only that, this is with these opportunities, long term. This is like a major career change. Ooh, shift. The eight of the major arcana, the strength card here. Big Leo energy. Why, I don't want to say it. some of you just hitting the vape pen and doing it, but maybe that's exactly what it was. Smoking a cigarette. Hitting a joint, the vape, little breeze pen. And just and really with the strength, are get, just getting up and doing it. Making the changes, doing the things outside of your comfort zone, traveling, meeting new people, networking. And that strength card, that reaping what you sow. This is for the hard workers. Consistently, the, the last three, four readings, Capricorns, please check them out. The hard workers, the people that have been focused, determined, or the people looking to change your mindset, those are for you. These are for you. This is making power moves. Taking full opportunity of a situation... <laughs> That could have been a total disaster or could be a total disaster if you allow it to. But just like handling it with this King of Cups, handling it with this Nine of Pentacles. Look at the awards here. Showing up again, being dressed well, looking your best, 
being dressed to impress and ready. Staying ready so you don't have to get ready. And some of you, this being on your own or even separated from the group, maybe you're used to working with people for some of you, maybe not so much for others, is your opportunity to really shine and put on, for people to see you, for you to stand out. A major message, Capricorns, to do this thing that I feel like some of you have been wanting to do that is outside of your comfort zone and how it is going to majorly pay out, pay off, pay out. We see the page of swords here. And what is this getting the internet buzzing? Or being put on the spot for, a, I think of school when I think the page of swords, but it could just be a project. I forget about work projects. What a, heavy on a, a project. And putting your blood, sweat, and tears into it with this Six of Cups. And for some of you, some of it being a team effort or originally was a team effort, whether it was one person or a group. What was the team effort? I want to know. I want to know. We see not just the Six, but the Three of Cups as well. Why do I feel like this was something that was started as a group thing, but now is becoming a single thing? And for some of you, something that you slept on or people were sleeping on, not putting in the work. You know the story of the little red hen. And when somebody put you on the spot, you showed out. Some people may be missing out on an opportunity because they weren't putting in the work or the effort. Or maybe, I mean, you're doing this for the group. Maybe you're the only person you know that still had had the push, had the drive, believed in, in the dream, whatever it was, the Queen of Cups. It is having hope and faith. Some of you were moving in pure hope, faith, that situation was going to where others of you just being motivated, pride, needing to win with the devil here. Capricorn energy. Oh, we got a few things going on here. A situation, I, I really feel like it, it, like it had to work out. Like some of you had something to prove and that's this pushing forward, making a situation work, maybe having to leave, you know, the friends or the other people behind that were working on it with you originally. But this is a spotlight being put on you. And do not be surprised that if and when you start to receive success from this if you do not get people from your past wanting to reach out reconcile see what's going on with you or again continue to take advantage from your kindness or benefit from you know what you have going on here also a note to not let any of this new success because it's a lot get to your head gas you up Get you caught up. Don't get caught up in the hype, status, the worldly things. And we see that balance and moderation here. Consistently, you having multiple options, Capricorn, romantically and again, financially. It's all a, you really do have the opportunity to create the life that you want. This is about the choices that you are making, Capricorns, period, point blank. This is not about, this reading is not about anybody else. This is about you, the choices that you make. You could totally fumble this, fumble the ball here, fumble this bag. But those of you that are staying, remaining consistent, studying, working on your craft, remaining consistent in whatever it is that you are working on, your artistry, this business, your career, working on your family, finding that person, whatever it is, having many options and needing to, you know, stay focused, pace yourself, but also be aware of the distractions as well. There's a message again to be humble and not a humble, like you need to humble yourself, you know how you get from the haters, but actually a remaining humble that you don't lose yourself because the worst thing is to 
be smelling yourself and then thinking nothing's wrong. The two of wands. Choices, being at a crossroads. You see the temperance here, the two of wands and the sun. Again, while things are being exposed to you and things, you know, a light being shown, not on you, but on these opportunities, it is all up to you, the choices that you are making. Whether you choose to turn your back on one thing and keep your options open in another, um, it's completely up to you. The moderation, the staying really grounded with this temperance, not overindulging. Because see, that temperance can go upside down and then you got complete chaos all over the place. This is remaining balanced with this new success. Being careful about these new people, places, and opportunities that you're going and investing your time in. And being very careful. The nine wants being very careful. Oops, messing everything up. This nine of wands which is getting ready to close the door on something. Some of you knew that you were getting ready to change, that there was getting ready to be that major change, that you were coming up on the end of whatever the struggle was, or like your work was getting ready to pay off, like you were getting towards the next level. This is that. But um, it is indeed making the choice to walk away or to close this door. And for some of you, this door that is chaotic and crazy or get no longer serving you. Oh my, it kind of looks like there must be a separation. So what is this thing you need to separate yourself from? We see this temperance here in this Knight of Pentacles. What is this group? We saw the Three of Cups, now this Three of Pentacles and this Nine of Swords. This, this fear of separating from this group or taking this, again, that five of swords, the loss in the background. Losing friends. The fact that it didn't work out the way that you thought it would or people thought that it would. But what was the investment? Notice how we see, you know, three people here or three sets of hands, right? But only one's in the red. Like one hand is standing out. And... While we can't see this woman's face here, because it, it is a woman as I look closer at this, it's given the vibes of that seven, that seven of pentacles, like somebody who was invested. Let me pull that seven of pentacles just so we can see what I'm talking about. And it was right there. Boom. Like, can you see it in here? You see that that's a woman, pearl necklace, glove. This could very well be her on a different day. Or during the day. This could be nighttime. But like being invested. Notice. Investing. Notice all the money on the front. Investing in yourself. Investing in the plan. Actually putting up being the front money. Actually investing in something. And now things are working out. This three and the seven is the ten. That's everything coming together. For those of you that were really invested. The stress. And some of you are worried about what you lost. Instead of what you gained. That negative mindset will mess you up, Capricorns. Focusing on the wrong thing. Some of you are having sleepless nights over nothing. The Nine of Wands and this Nine of Swords. Needing to let something go. Nine, nine. Letting it go. Because things are working out. Some of you are fretting and things are, are working out. The Seven of Wands here. Yeah, fighting non-existent battles. Others of you needing to protect your energy and protect your peace from these people that are trying to make their way back around. Want a piece of what it is that you've worked for. Ooh, not the leeches, Capricorn. What else with this having to needing to protect, you know, what's come together? And the and its potential. Because we see it moving very quickly. We already came to that, but now it's like. Judgment. Some of you need to get your records in order. Your LLCs, your business, dates down, writing things down, who was doing what, when, record keeping. But also needing to protect yourself because what's getting ready to be revealed to you when things start to work out, 
is going to be enough for you to make some major final decisions here. These are major revelations. Notice the zombies. People you ain't heard from in a long, long time. People from the past. Way, way back, the judgment. Mm, yeah, page of pentacles. Four of pentacles and the fool. The hermit. People from every which way. The success coming from, again, the work that you've put in. Some of you being on a spiritual journey, we see the hermit here. Fitness, food, whatever it is. Get graduating school. We just had graduation season. But it is the starting this new journey, the success from being put on the spot, investing in yourself, setting this foundation, not just the four of pentacles, more of that Capricorn energy. And we see the money, cash money, clear as day. And this page of pentacles, new opportunities coming in. This leap of faith or being ready for this unexpected opportunity is about to set you up. Boldly taking advantage of it. Boldly taking action is about to set you up. Some of you have been eating, sleeping, and breathing this project or this transition or this thing that you've been working on. And an opportunity is getting ready to present itself. For some of you that have been working in a team or a group setting or you started this with people and it was a group thing, you're about to be successful. You're about to be put on the spot by yourself, individually. And get a lot of success. Do not be surprised when those people from the past that feel like atta are attached to you or attached to the project are wanting a piece or a part of that success. There's going to be a need to, you know, set some boundaries here with this new success. Capricorns. Now I want to know what this is. But when one door closes, many doors are opening. So, mm, it could very well be an ending that opens up this opportunity. The seven of swords, another seven. I pulled the seven of pentacles. The Seven of Wands, now the Seven of Swords, Ghosting, the Chariot, a Seven. Shout out to the Capricorns born in 77. And this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Moving in silence, being very quiet. Some of you being ghosted and left alone on a project. Some of y'all are getting ready to capitalize on it. You snooze, you lose around here. Others of you, people were sleeping on you, capitalizing on these opportunities here. Working in silence, you didn't need people to know or see what you had working on here or what that you were working on. And moving around, these sevens, that temperance, it's giving, you know, perfection. Everything, you know, lining up, right place, right time. And as long as you are, for those of you that are focused, ready, male and female, you'll be ready. You'll be, some of you, ready to meet your person. We see this man, these well-dressed couple here. People obsessed with these celebrity couples. This may be your Jay-Z and Beyonce moment, you know, if you're into that. Others of you, that business connection, that business partnership opportunity, that, that opportunity for somebody to invest in whatever it is that you have going on here. That working by yourself, people counting you out again, that little red hen logic. Now they want to come when the, the bread when you're pulling the bread out of the oven. Mm. Big Libra energy with the justice card and the four of wands. 11, 11, 11. Make a wish. And not just making a wish, Capricorns, making it happen. Turning words into action. New connections, meeting exciting new people, moving around. This being put on the spot 
And I feel like, again, those of you using your words, it being fire, work, working out for you, queen of swords. You speaking, showing up, showing out, and I feel like it's having to do with something at night or while you're traveling or moving around. Out of town, in town, downtown with this world. Fixed sign energy. What is that? Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Major Arcana. Retaking control of your situation. And some of you using your emotions. Mm. Or how you make people feel, right? Around you. Setting you up for this success. We see this emperor here, this Aries. We got Pisces and the fixed sign on the board. Opportunities coming in. And not only this emperor, this... An opportunity for a leadership position for others of you. But it really speaks to making your dreams come true. We see the world, the moon, and the emperor, like making things happen. Wrapping up this unfinished business or tying up those loose ends with the world, I should say. Pausing, figuring some things out, dealing with this, emotions, whatever it is. And now that we see the wolves calling, putting things out there. Again, that air energy, putting things out to the, the universe. And then just capitalizing on it, dominating the competition, standing out amongst your peers. Shout out to the Capricorns that are just killing the competition here, grabbing the bull by the horns and make, making it happen. What else for this emperor? Because now I want to know. Getting yourself out of some type of rut. We see the Eight of Swords here. Feeling stuck, trapped, not knowing what to do. Regaining control. 888. Reaping what you sow. Making things happen. Success and abundance. The three. And turning some type of pain or embarrassing situation, whatever it is, sadness, loss, emotional loss. And, and I feel like turning it into money. We see this Two of Pentacles here and this King of Swords writing a book. Writing poetry, writing music, teaching classes, becoming a counselor, social worker, speaking on a situation, situ being, a, I feel like a speaker, getting on social media and speaking. There's an opportunity to speak, an opportunity, and something with emotions that is opening doors, but also that's going to have other people in their feelings. A heavy need to trust your gut about who you should have around you. High, heavy Pisces, the hangman, the high priestess, and the eight of wands. Because you're going to have a lot of things coming at you very quickly. People from your past, new people coming at you. A lot of messages back and forth, emails and things. Be very careful about who you're communicating with and who you're spending your time with. And not only that, there may be some people showing themselves you as people that benefited from you being, you know, stuck in place. Or insecure even with that eight of pentacles. Mm, the, as above, so below. Yes. Who benefited from you being stuck, from you being down? Shout out to the Capricorns putting their money where their mouth is, speaking on it, or turning again... Lots of pain in, into money, into the motivation for what, getting things done. The Six of Pentacles. Bringing balance to your situation. Capricorns, you need to be ready to take full advantage of any and all opportunities that are coming at you. Being aware, being dressed appropriately <laughs> for any and all occasions. And 
And not only that, be ready to cut people off that are not, you know, pulling their weight and letting them know exactly where it is that they stand. Some of y'all need to update your contracts or get people to, you know, put some things in writing. Yes. Because we see people not pulling their weight, but not necessarily wanting to walk away. There's an opportunity to pull away from a situation that has been pulling you down or you feel like it's been pulling you down, has been very negative. Do not miss out on this opportunity, Capricorns. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Please tap in. Hit that like button. Let me know where you're watching from, what resonated for you. Find, follow me on Instagram. Um, I don't do personal reading information, any, any personal readings anymore, so I don't know why I, why I keep wanting to say that. Find, follow me on Instagram. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all that. Let me know where you're watching from. And Capricorns, <laughs> I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.